We come on the air at four with breaking news here on the now westbound I 70 shut down in both directions near Bonner Springs all because of a deadly accident. Look at this sky tracker is over the scene right now and you can see it is happening just east of the toll plaza. You can see how bad this accident is. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez live at that scene with more on what he's learned. Andres. Yeah, Kevin, we've just learned that four people have died so far as a result of this crash here on the westbound lanes of the turnpike. Just that we are being told that two of those victims were traveling in that red GMC terrain truck that you see right next to that charred semi. The other two were in that car that has flipped over uh, and is being covered by a tarp. We're told that all of this unfolded around 2.30 this afternoon when a semi ended up, one of these two semis struck the back, the, the back of the two vehicles. Then struck another semi that caused for both semis to get in to uh, catch fire and those flames could uh, smoke as a result of those flames could be seen for miles right now the turnpike is shut down in both directions the eastbound lanes they've cleared out on the westbound side you can see it is uh, bumper to bumper traffic we're told well told at this point by a spokeswoman with the turnpike that the westbound lanes are expected to be shut down for the next four to five hours again Four people have died as a result of this crash. One of the semi drivers, we we'll also have, should add, has been taken to the hospital. We still do not know the condition of the other semi driver. The Kansas Highway Patrol is the lead agency overseeing this operation. They are anticipated to give us another update here uh, shortly. Once we get that update, we'll of course go ahead and pass it along to you. Reporting live, Andres Gutierrez for the Now KC. That is very, very tough. Andres, thank you. Check out this video of the semi fire. A driver sent in this video as he drove along I-70 and you can see the flames right there. This video shows the fire from Scout Cam. Quite a mess as you can see. KDOT says westbound I-70 will be closed as you heard Andres say for at least four or five more hours. Yeah, so let's get over to Captain Greg who is in Sky Tracker right now. So, Captain, what can you tell us about the traffic situation now that we know I-70 westbound will be closed? Where did they close it at? Yeah, Rhiannon and uh, Kevin, uh, Sky Tracker was over this not too long after it happened. In fact, we were the first news crew on scene here. In fact, we have some video that we will uh, bring up a little bit later on, but the, both vehicles were fully involved in that fire. And going back to the traffic issue, this is a very extensive part of I-70 that's closed. It is actually closed from K-7 on the westbound side, so not too far from the speedway, all the way over to way. East Lawrence. The, uh, the uh, uh, eastbound side over Lawrence is also closed. You can see there is some traffic still stuck here, but actually the closure on the westbound side does go all the way back to K-7 and like I said, to East Lawrence. Guys, back to you. All right, Captain Greg, thank you for that update. We, of course, will stay on top of this accident and let you know as new developments come in, but we do know four people are dead. One of the semi-truck drivers is in the hospital. We'll have updates as we get more information.